Hi guys, it's Barnaby for Spurred On. Welcome to your Friday edition of 7 O'Clock Spurs. First bit of news today. Steven Gerrard has been talking about the genius that is Deli Alley. In fact, he said that he wished Deli Alley had joined Liverpool, who of course were interested, but never put their money where their mouths are. Gerrard said, I was disappointed Liverpool didn't sign him. I thought he was a player they'd have tried to go for. In fact, along with that in the article, uh, Steven Gerrard talks about how he thought Deli Alley might have been the natural successor to him at Liverpool. Of course, he is a box-to-box -box player who can score goals and loves a tackle too, as was shown in that brilliant goal he scored for England, where he won the ball in the midfield, ran on and stuck it in the top corner. Anyway, we're delighted that he didn't go to Liverpool. Sorry, Stevie, it just doesn't always work like that. Also today, Ryan Mason has come out and urged Harry Kane to stay at Spurs despite the interest from some huge clubs, including Chelsea and Manchester United. Mason said, Harry is excited at the road we're taking and he wants to be a part of it like everyone else. So to me, that sounds like Ryan saying to him, you know you like it here, just stay, sign another deal. He signed about four deals last year and everyone else is planning to stay as well. In fact, Maurizio Pochettino talked about how both Hugo and Harry want to stay for the next few seasons and win trophies and get in the Champions League with Spurs. All the noises that are coming out the lane at the moment are so positive. It really is a fantastic time to be a Spurs fan. And Harry, why would you leave at this point? You're not gonna get to play in every game like you do at Spurs anywhere else. In fact, there's a stat I read today where Harry Kane has played something like the last 44 games in the Premier League for Spurs more than any other striker. So, there you go, Harry, just stay. Finally on this Friday, Gary Mabbott, our ex-captain and club legend, has said that he is very excited by this Spurs team. He says he sees players wanting to play for the shirt again. To me, that sounds like a veiled dig at the kind of foreign mercenaries who are at the club over the last couple of years who we sold, we got rid of the Deadwood this summer, and now Gary is as excited as we are about the young, pacey, powerful dynamism that's coming through the club. And I think for Gary, most importantly, that solid back five of Rose, Walker, Jan, Toby and Eric Dyer. I can totally understand why Gary Mabbitt's excited about it. We're not conceding goals, we are scoring goals and we can go into this London derby on Sunday so excited at the possibility of turning Chelsea over and putting 13 points between us and them. Guys, have a great weekend. Let me know what you thought of that news in the comments section below. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel and follow us on Twitter at Spurred on TV. Come on, you Spurs. And just the amount that we were replenishing the ball and starting again, probing, probing, probing. From the first minute, like the first 20 minutes, it was a 